Hello my crypto peeps and welcome to SCN. Thank you all for watching. Please go ahead and like, share, comment down below, subscribe and hit that bell notification. And just a reminder for all my crypto peeps, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just giving you my own opinion. Let's start off with looking at the market. Total market cap 221 billion. Bitcoin dominance 51.4%. Bitcoin's current price is $6,572 with a minus 1.35%. Ethereum $230 with a 1.84% gain. XRP at 55, almost 56 cents with a 3.97% gain. Generally looking at the market, it is a mix between red and green. Let's look at the biggest winner. PIVX, 19.42% gain. Congratulations. The biggest loser is gas with a minus 13.06%. Sorry. Let's get into the news. U.S. congressmen call on SEC for regulatory clarity regarding cryptocurrencies. I'm sorry, my computer seems a little tired today. We have so many news to cover. A group of lawmakers from the U.S. Congress has sent a letter to SEC Chairman Jay Clayton calling for regulatory clarity regarding cryptocurrencies. CNBC reported September 28. According to CNBC, more than a dozen congressmen asked Clayton to tell investors how the SEC plans to regulate digital currency. The lawmakers requested clarity on the criteria for identifying digital tokens as investment contracts and therefore securities. In addition to a description of the tools the SEC will use to provide more concrete guidance to innovators in the field. The letter reads, It is important that all policymakers work toward developing clearer guidelines between those digital tokens that are securities and those that are not, through better articulation of SEC policy and ultimately through formal guidance of legislation. The congressman also said in the letter, we believe that formal guidance may be an appropriate approach to clearing up legal uncertainties which are causing the environment for the development of initiative technologies in the United States to be unnecessarily fraught. Some of the participants argued that current regulations were not only vague but outdated. Joshua Stein, CEO at crypto security firm Harbor, stated that securities regulations do not work in regard to utility tokens in decentralized apps, dApps. He used that current securities laws are only appropriate for traditional securities and they are not good fit for the ICO industry. I like when people are working hard for us. SFTC charges two defendants for defrauding investors and impersonating of CFTC officials. WTF? The U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, has filed a suit against two defendants for the allegedly fraudulent solicitation of Bitcoin, according to an official press release published on Friday, September 28. The uh, CFTC's complaint filed in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Texas charges the two defendants with running two fraudulent businesses and misleading the public to invest in leverage or margin foreign currency contracts such as forex, binary options and diamonds. The first defendant, who goes by the name Morgan Hunt, is reportedly from Arlington, Texas. Well, now they will hunt to you, Morgan, and owns the company Diamonds Trading Investment House. That was a long name. The second defendant, Kim Heckroft? What kind of name is that? Perturbably of Baltimore, Maryland, reported, reportedly ran first option trading. Come on. Couldn't come up with some better names. According to the press release, Hunt and Heckroft have defrauded at least two investors starting in January 2017. 
the defendants had allegedly been offering to invest in trading for the benefits of their clients via email and Facebook. Oh, MG, what? You get an email saying invest here randomly and you press the link and go and invest. Why would you go and do that? Why, why, why? Why? Ah. Continuing. Among the other accusations, the CFTC mentioned that the defendants were impersonating a CFTC investigator as well as using forged official documents to pose as the CFTC's general counsel with CFTC's official seal as a part of the scam. While the CFTC is not actually involved in any activity involving tax collection, the fraudsters reportedly impersonated CFTC official in order to require fake tax payments on cryptocurrency accounts. <sighs> Come, my crypto peeps, I know you guys are smart enough not to press these scammers uh, links in emails that they randomly send to you, but you other, you other people, please don't do those things. Please, you're just hurting yourself. Moving on. Bitcoin demanded as a ransom after cyber attack on Port of San Diego. The Port of San Diego was recently hit with a cybersecurity attack, which led to the involvement of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, and the Department of Homeland Security, DHS. Their systems were hit with a ransomware attack, which led to the attackers asking for the ransom in Bitcoin. While how much money was demanded was not revealed, the involvement of the FBI and the DHS may suggest that there is sensitive data at stake. Ransomware is a kind of cybersecurity attack that locks down the victim's data and provides a message to them. The message usually contains details on how to pay attackers, who will then proceed to release the data to the victims. The data is held ransom until the user agree um, agrees to the attacker's terms. The issue was reportedly first on September 25th and was said to have disrupted the agency's information technology systems. However, the Port of San Diego CEO, Randa Coniglio, Con Coniglio, assured the public that normal port operations are continuing as usual as this was mainly an administrative issue. He stated, the port can also now confirm that the ransom note requ uh, requested payment in Bitcoin, although the amount that was requested is not being disclosed. Obviously, they don't want to tell you that, but they just want to tell you that they got hacked. All right. He also stated that they were working closely with the U.S. Coast Guard on the matter. On the U.S. Coast Guard. Okay, and that they have assembled a team of experts in the industry. This includes local, regional, state and federal partners to minimize impact and restore system functionalities. The Bay Area is one of the United States' most active ports, handing over 3 million tons of cargo annually. Moreover, the attack has forced the authorities to proactively shut down other systems towards the view of security. Temporarily, the service that are destroyed disrupted to the public are in the areas of business services, record requests and park permits. Coniglio stated that more information will be released as information is available. But we want to know how much they asked for. How many bitcoins did they request then? How many? How many? Ethos and Voyager, Oprah and Android, the evolving face of crypto wallets. Cryptocurrency wallets are adapting to meet our increasing need for mobility. Wallet creators are teaming up with various different tech companies to create hybrid wallets with more user functionality. Ethos, a blockchain platform specializing in cryptocurrency storage, just announced a partnership with Voyager, a crypto asset broker tailored to retail and institutional investors. Ethos can now utilize Voyager's fiat gateway trading ability to create a revamped version of the Ethos Universal Wallet. Here we go, Ethos times Voyager, a groundbreaking partnership to power the future of finance. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a tweet from Ethos on Twitter. Uh, Ethos announces our partnership with Invest Voyager. This brings a best-in-class fiat gateway and smart router trading to the universal wallet while also enhancing the self-custody and wallet solutions on Voyager's retail and institutional platform. Well, decentralized, centralized, well, it feels like 
Crypto is just doing its own thing nowadays to get somewhere. Smart, non-smart. I mean, look at XRP. Look at Ripple. Come on. Been involved with centralization since the start. And I'm not afraid to say it. So, I don't know. It depends on... Uh, obviously, we, we would all want a decentralized system. I want a decentralized system. But I understand why some of these companies choose to work with the system, so to say. I understand. But I hope in the future that we will still become decentralized in this space. I hope we will become decentralized eventually. Moving on, JD.com opens Institute for Building Smart Cities with Blockchain and AI. A division of Chinese e-commerce giant JD.com, JD Finance, has established the Smart City Research in, excuse me, Research Institute at its headquarters in Nanjing, reported daily reported People's Daily September 28. Jingdong Jingdong Group, JD.com, is a Chinese e-commerce company that focuses on new technological implementation in e-commerce, logistics, and finance. With the new institute, JD.com aims to facilitate the development of smart city construction with the use of artificial intelligence. Big data and blockchain technologies. Excuse me. The company's first regional headquarters in Nanjing will influence the entire East China region and aims to reduce industry costs and increase efficiency. The report states that the company priorities are advanced intelligence solution in the areas of urban environment, transportation, planning, energy consumption, commerce, security, healthcare, credit cities, and e-government. JD.com has applied blockchain technology in various aspects of its business, from its logistics and supply chain to issuing blockchain asset-backed securities. You know what I always say? Hashtag what? Hashtag go blockchain. You agree, right? If you agree with me, comment down below. Hashtag go blockchain. Marshall Islands goes ahead with state-backed crypto plans despite... IMF warning. The Pacific country of the Marshall Islands will proceeding with its previously reported plan of launching its own virtual currency without the blessing of the IMF. February this year saw the Republic of the Marshall Islands pass a law to allow for the development of the sovereign, a state-backed virtual currency that will be used as a legal tender along with the US dollar. Plans for this initiative in initiative initiative sorry you guys seem to be full steam ahead even without the support of the IMF a report by the IMF previously stated that authorities in the Pacific country should seriously reconsider the uh, issuance of the digital currency as legal tender however according to the Fiji Times the Marshall Island government is not deterred the minister in assistance to president Hilda Hain David Paul said Issuing the first world first legal digital tender, the SOV, S O V, will keep the Republic of the Marshall Island and its residents integrated into the digital economy, allow residents to transfer and receive funds safely and instantaneously without the need of correspondent banks, which have long threatened to stop servicing small Pacific Island countries like. The, uh, RMI and help the country make up for a sharp and immediate decline in external aid. Come on, let them do their thing. IMF, back off. Back off. Stellar. Stellar payment platform. Eyes mass adoption of crypto through live events after successful trial. I have to tell you, this is freaking cool. A new platform built on Stellar is taking steps to make the digital currency useful in real life. Practical way as crypto pushes towards mass adoption. After a trial run at the Chicago Food Truck Festival, were you there? Let me know in the comments down below. Stellar Payment announced that they uh, that their new contactless wristband technology was a success. During the trial, selected guests were given a near-field communication wristband designed to work with point of sale merchants management systems the wristband was connected to a stellar lumens wallet 
while the POST software was connected to the merchant's wallet. With the flick of a wrist, customers were able to transfer their lumens directly to the merchants to purchase goods. Uh, here you have on Twitter, uh, Stellar Payban, and they wrote, The future is now mass adoption. And you can see two pictures here. Well, this is freaking awesome. Mass adoption! Hashtag mass adoption! Don't you agree? I don't know why I'm singing today. I'm just feeling so happy. I love the crypto space. Moving on with the news. <laughs> Tron unveils major update. Project Atlas, DApps, gaming, wallet and 97 billion token burn. Tron just wrapped up in an in-depth live stream update on the platform's progress. Founder and CEO Justin Sun began by comparing Tron's network activity to other blockchains, noting the Tron network now boasts more unique addresses than EOS. In addition, Sun says Tron gained more unique addresses in the first 95 days after its mainnet launch than Ethereum did during its initial launch back in July of 2015. Sun also announced that Tron has now burned 98% of it of all its ERC20 Ethereum based TRX tokens, which are no longer needed now that Tron has migrated off the Ethereum blockchain. The process has essentially locked up about 97 billion tokens that are no longer needed, throwing away the key. Well, that's the only time you can throw away your key. Never throw away your key, key kids. Austrian government issues 1.15 billion Ethereum public bond. Blockchain technology will start in the government bond auction on October 2nd, which is on Tuesday. The Austrian government will use the Ethereum public blockchain on October 2nd to hold an auction for 1.35 billion of government bonds. It's just another sign that blockchain technology is finding its way into the inner workings of public life. Come on, yes. Hashtag what? Hashtag go blockchain. Claim Seitung Seitung shared the news that the shared the news that the hmm let me try pronounce this. O Oderishishe Oreridishe Control Bank. Let's just call it O E K B will effectively run the auctions and oversee the live blockchain authorization. The bank will then issue bonds on behalf to the government to Austrian government. Uh, Estonia, Dubai, Russia and Australia have all embraced the blockchain at a state level, but Austria has snuck up along the fence. After investigating in fintech studies and a panel of experts and civil servants, the government has opted to incorporate I am so sorry. Blockchain technology. These government bonds are one small step towards the uh, final destination. Austria's finance minister Hartwig Löger said, following one uh, following on from setting up the fintech adver uh, council at the Ministry of Finance, we are developing strategies that will give Austria the most benefit from these techno techno technological developments. Marcus Stix, managing director at the uh, Austrian Treasury said, this added security contributes to achieving a high level of conf uh, confidence in the auction process for Austrian government bonds and strengthens Austria's good standing in the market, which indirectly also has the capacity to contribute, 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 I'm sorry, I can't uh, seem to speak today, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say, contribute, there we go, to favorable financing cost everybody get in the game ubisoft consensus and other unite to form blockchain game alliance the future of blockchain and gaming looks rather bright the blockchain game alliance has been formed this outfit is comprised of various blockchain and gaming companies ad advancing the use of blockchain technology in the gaming industry will be this alliance number one priority awesome Next up, Pornhub. Pornhub subscribers soft on paying with cryptocurrencies. Well, if you're on Pornhub, you don't have to comment down below. I promise. Pornhub disclosed that less than 1% of purchases are made on the adult website with supported cryptocurrencies. The site started with the option to pay with Verge in April 2018 
as CCN reported. Pornhub then opened support for Tron and Zencash, which has since been renamed to Horizon in June. No other cryptocurrencies are supported besides these three. Pornhub reported a finding in an email to the next web's hard four. <clears throat> Interesting, and I think it's interesting that you choose to have the option with Verge, Tron, and Horizon. Oh, like I said, you don't have to comment down below if you use Pornhub. I promise it's okay. Next up, Brian Armstrong Coinbase can be the Google of crypto. In a video published by Fortune, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong succinctly lays out their simple master plan for Coinbase and explains why the company is much more than a popular cryptocurrency exchange in the US. The mission is to rewrite the economy by reprogram how we transfer value. Quoting Brian, Web 1.0 was a lot about publishing of information of the bed, bed web. Web 2.0, where Google really kind of took off among the other companies, was about integration and uh, on the internet and messaging and sharing data. Web 3.0, we think, is going to be about value transfer on the internet. I think Coinbase can be the Google of crypto in the sense that this new way that applications are being built on the internet, Web 3.0, we can be the leading company in the world. Well, very much possible, of course you can. Look at, all, look at your partners and what you are doing. And look where you're based. I'm just saying. Uh, Coinbase, Coinbase launches Coinbase Bundle to make crypto trading easier for beginners. Well, we want we want the beginners to think it's easy, so they will they will think it's fun to get in. In their attempt to woo new crypto investors and make it easier for them to own digital assets. Coinbase, the US-based leading cryptocurrency exchange, has launched a new offering Coinbase bundle starting at a minimum price of $25. About the new offering, Coinbase, one of the oldest and largest cryptocurrencies exchanges in the world, earlier on Thursday announced the launch of a new product offering called named Coinbase Bundle. This move will make things easier for beginners who are keen to add crypto assets to their investment portfolio but find it overwhelming to get started in the digital asset space. Well, I mean, Coinbase has always been easy. Um, I think it's always been beginner friendly. But if you can make it more beginner friendly, good, good, good. But how does this Coinbase bundle work then? The new product offering is already live and available to customers in the US, Europe, and the UK. The bundle makes it easy for a new user to enter the market by provi providing an affordable price point as low as $25, without having to figure out how on how much of each asset to buy. The system automatically determines the proportion according to the market cap of the five assets available on the platform. Once the purchase is complete, the assets will get transferred to their respective wallets. The user can then move or sell those assets individually. The help section has been updated with the frequently asked questions about the bundle. In addition to Coinbase bundle, the platform has also added Coinbase asset page, which gives out information about the top 50 cryptocurrencies, even though most of them are not available on the platform yet. Yet. Hmm. And Coinbase Learn, a learning resource for users willing to know more about the underlying technology. Coinbase, with its sleeve of new offerings, tools and partnership, has prepared itself to retain its position as the most preferred and trusted exchange in the world just as we approach October, which historically has seen the start of many Bitcoin rallies. Are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? Well, what do you think about the new offering from Coinbase? Let's see what it is on Twitter. Um, here are Coinbase has tweeted out on their official page. Uh, bundles are a new way to buy crypto on Coinbase. You decide on how much to spend. We deliver a market weighted distribution of assets in your wallet. So this is how it works. You put in. So if you see now, $25. So you, you buy everything, basically. You buy Bitcoin, you buy Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum Classic. 
and you only have to put in $25. So, I mean, in this sense, you don't have to do any research, you don't have to know nothing. All you have to know about is Coinbase, and if you have 25 bucks, you can put it in and you will get some coins. Good or not, I don't know. I, I would love to have people in the space that at least have some understanding on what this really is and where this will go. And yeah, it, I get it, but this is not only about making money. We, we want this to be sustainable. We want this to stay. We want this to be what it's supposed to be. So, I mean, yeah, bundle is good for... Uh, for people to just start to get into the market and understanding the market, I guess. But if it just stops there and people just continually using the bundle and don't care about what the money comes to or nothing like that, I don't know. Let me know. What do you think about the Coinbase bundle? Have you tried it? Have you reviewed it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Blockchain could help Africa's commodity market, claims Chinese billionaire. Chinese billionaire and co-CEO of technology company Ideonomics Bruno Wu believes the blockchain could be the solution that helps African countries trade their minerals and natural resources efficiently and profitably. Wu's company Ideonomics, formerly called Seven Starts Cloud Group, has invested heavily in artificial intelligence and blockchain companies through companies they acquired and partnered with. Speaking on how Africa can leverage blockchain, Wu said digitizing asset production and distribution would put the continent on the forefront of the commodities market, same way it leads the mobile money market. Having a better tomorrow for Africa is about having a more transparent future, and blockchain can help there. I totally agree, Wu. Thank you so much for investing. Go blockchain. Oh, I forgot. Hashtag go blockchain. Ripple, ripple, ripple. I, I know, you've been waiting for the Ripple news and the XRP news. Here it is. CM Commercial Bank pioneers RippleNet's multi-hop feature. And my computer got a little slow again. I am so sorry. I hope you can bear with me going through this. It seems like this site does not want to work at the moment. So let's hop on to the next one and maybe we can come back to this. Um, XRP now available on FX Choice, a forex exchange in a 5 trillion industry. FX Choice, a regulated forex broker in Belize, just added XRP to its trading platform. We are pleased to announce that clients may now deposit and withdraw XRP. For those unaware, XRP is currently in one of the top five current cryptocurrencies well, top three, in terms of market capitalization. Uh, Ripple is the name for both a digital currency XRP and an open payment network within which that currency is transferred. It is distributed open source payment system. To deposit XRP, you'll need to open an XRP denominated account with us. FX Choice offers traders a place to buy and sell foreign currencies, a market currently valued at more than 5 trillion. Well, XRP is just going at it, aren't they? The Swell event by Ripple, October 1 to the 2nd, 2018 in San Francisco. If you haven't registered, register now. Are you going? First of all, it's only in two days. It's two days left, less than two days. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're going. Because they're not going to send this live. So it would be interesting if one of my followers would go. Maybe we, I'll see you there. And we can uh, share our thoughts uh, about the event together. Uh, just letting you know a little about the event. It's hosted by Ripple. And uh, it, uh, it's about connecting the world's leading experts on policy, payments and technology for the most proactive dialogue in global payments today. Hashtag Swell by Ripple. Featured speaker. Keynote speaker. Former president Bill Clinton. And then they have a customer celebration featuring Counting Crows, a rock band. And then um, Agenda at a glance. Uh, on Monday, uh, October 1st, uh, former President Bill Clinton will have his keynote at 11. And then it is lunch, programming, private meeting and happy hour. And then Ripple's customer celebration. 
And on Tuesday, start off with the private meetings, programming, lunch with Ripple programming, and then customer award reception. And the location is in downtown San Francisco, the home of Ripple's headquarters. And don't here they have a little FAQ who will be attending and what does my access pass include and so on and so on. And Garling House will also speak. I think it was on October 1st. Uh, he will come out and speak. And the last for tonight. I just saw this on Twitter and I thought it was adorable. Uh, XRP Malaysia hash, uh, at Malaysia XRP wrote on Twitter when he or she grow up maybe two to three digit price of XRP. See you soon baby. And it's a picture of this person's baby in the belly. I think that was really cute. So I wanted to let the, I wanted to finish the video with that. Where do you think XRP will be in, let's say, seven to nine months? Where do you think that the price point will be at? Where will it be? What will be the market cap? Let me know in the comment down below. Well, thank you all for watching and listening. I appreciate you all. Please go ahead, like, share, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you never miss out. And don't forget, crypto loves you. Until next time, hey do!